Hi, this is Amelia from the Zen of Chemistry. Lots of people are really familiar with the traditional idea of tutoring, so getting together with a tutor, um, sitting there in the same room with your books and piece of paper and working through whatever you need to work through. I offer online tutoring, which is a little bit different, and I just want to show you um, what I'm able to do with this platform that I'm using. It's called Zoom, and what it essentially allows me to do is to talk with the students. So you can see my face right about now. Um, there's usually, if there was another person on the on the line, I'd be able to see them in a little box up the top here. Um, so you can confer, converse face to face, which is really helpful sometimes when you're trying to um, ascertain whether someone's not quite understanding something. Um, so that's probably the first and most important thing is that that personal touch. The difference between Zoom and something like Skype is where I'm able to actually share whatever I've got on my computer. So um, let me just show you what, uh, what I can do here. The first thing, um, let's say that I wanted to uh, share a, a Google search that I've done. So I might be able to share that screen there. And you can see that the search that I've done is uh, looking for the chemical structure of glucose. So, you know, there's lots of different representations of glucose that come up immediately that we can harness for this type of, of work. And let's just say that I want to pick out one particular one. I can help that student by um, drawing. I might want to pick out a particular part of that molecule or I might want to maybe circle all of the different parts of the molecule that are the same, that kind of thing. So um, you can kind of see that, you know, this is a lot more interactive than just looking at a screen. Um, uh, I will clear what I've got here. So, And what I also can do is save those images. So if I create... Um, or if I am able to um, save what I've got here with all the circles on it, I can actually save this image and then email it to the student. So I'll clear that one there, clear all drawing. Um, the other thing I can do, so let's say um, I'm going to share um, what I've got here, which is my um, uh, Zen of Chemistry formula sheets. So these are for sale on my website. Um, but what I'm able to do there, so if we're looking at, well, let's look at, you know, um, the types of um, calculations we might do when we're, say, talking about Faraday's law, and I can show them these, these um, uh, equation triangles and we can work from there. So, um, again, I can do things like um, put circles around things and point out different parts of that. Uh, the student can actually see my... Um, my cursor there as well so I can actually point to things and that kind of thing so that's another thing I can do if there's a data book that a student uses so I know the VCE and the IB um, they have data books that they work from so I have copies of those on my laptop that I can also help them out and, and point things out to them on there. Um, if I, I've got also electronic copies of textbooks, so that also means that I can share those with them and, and, and work with them with the same textbook that they're using um, and show them different parts of that textbook that might be relevant to what we're talking about. Um, the next thing I want to show you, so I could also potentially, if I'm introducing a, a topic to a student um, that they've never done before, what I can actually do is um, I've got lots of my own uh, PowerPoints introducing those topics, so I can actually share that um, all that information via what would normally be a regular presentation, but obviously you can see the information. You can also see my face when I'm talking about that. So that's another thing that I can do um, to help out students um, is just introduce them to new topics with formal um, information as well, with formally created PowerPoints. Um, again, I can annotate that, add in text and that kind of thing. So um, the next thing I can show you is the whiteboard um, the whiteboard that we've got here so I can share that as well okay so that gives you a completely blank space um, and so I can um, add in text and I can so if we're doing a calculation I can go C equals n divided by V and we can identify or maybe um, uh, the number of moles is uh, 
0 0.5 moles, we've got a volume of uh, 250 mils, so it'd be 0.25 litres. So then we can go through and do the calculation. C equals 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25, which is obviously going to be 2 molar. Okay, so we can do calculations in real life time. Um, I can move things around so I can try and fit as much on that whiteboard as possible. Um, I can't say that I'm terribly good at this, but I can draw um, different things and, and I might want to draw, say, a, a conical flask and then a volumetric flask and talk about dilutions and that kind of thing. Excuse my terrible drawing, but you get the idea. Um, I can also um, throw in some, where am I, more drawings so I can, um, again, circle different things. I can um, point to different answers. Um, and then obviously I can erase things that I don't want there anymore, um, which is really helpful when you try and, you might have explained something to a student and that might be not be relevant to continuing on that, um, that uh, calculation so you can get rid of whatever you need. Um, again, I can save these whiteboard Im images and email them to the student at the end of the, at the, end of the um, session. I guess the last point um, for this type of tutoring at which you don't get when you are meeting face to face is that um, all of my Zoom tutorials are recorded. So what that means is um, I actually give them, when I send them through any screenshots I've taken, they can actually, um, I email them those as well as a Dropbox link where they can download their, their session. They're, I don't keep them up uh, on, on Dropbox for very long just because I have lots of students and um, it takes up lots of space obviously with being video. So um, they have usually three to seven days to download those um, and you can just keep them forever pretty much. And when you go back and maybe go over a question that we've done before and you get stuck, like um, you might get halfway through and go, oh, how did that go again? You can actually just come back to the video recording and and go back through the steps again and say, oh, how did how did we do that again? Oh, yeah, we did this, this and this. Okay, so there's, there's, there's no, um, you, don't, you don't lose what you've learnt. You can always come back and have a look at it. So that's, that's kind of a, a, a brief tutorial on how the online tutoring works. You know, it's really useful for people who either um, are really time constricted to travel to see a tutor or also for people who um, maybe don't even have a tutor in their area. They might be in a rural area, really want to do really well in their chemistry, but just, um, you know, a lot of the tutors are centred around uh, urban areas. So it's a really great tool that I use. I've got lots of students around Victoria and indeed Australia. Um, I've had students go overseas and um, we've just hooked up via Zoom um, while they're away on holidays before their, their Year 12 exams. Um, they might go away in the September holidays and their exams in November. So obviously they want to keep on studying through that time so this this is a great tool just to, to allow that flexibility um, for students to learn so I hope this has been really helpful um, what you can do if you're interested in this you can go to zenofchemistry.com and go to the contact tab or you can go and have a bit of a read about my tutoring services um, at, on the tutoring and coaching tab um, but definitely contact me um, if you're interested in having sessions I'm over this summer, I'm actually uh, taking on a few students. So um, if you're interested for this summer, uh, get in quick because they will um, go quickly. So um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it really useful and um, thanks. I'll, I'll talk to you soon.